Welcome, everybody, to episode number 49 of Working the Knee. I am the Big Lucha, back once again with Hot Tag, Powerhouse Josh, and El Juice, my Lucha tag partner today. <laughs> the Big Lucha Juice in the house. Yeah. <laughs> What's going I'd on? Y'all, I'd watch y'all wrestle. What would y'all be y'all finishing move? The heel turn. He's going to hit me in the back with a chair. <laughs> <laughs> We're setting up the win. I'm going to turn on him. <laughs> oh, it's every match. It's every match. Every match. <laughs> every single match. We keep teaming up. <laughs> See, at some point, you're like, man, you just, he, he knows it's going to happen. Why does he keep doing it? <laughs> because then you get the crowd. You actually get the, oh, oh bam. You got it. <laughs> Uh, it's, it, it's like RK bro. Like you keep thinking that Orton's gonna RKO him, and then it doesn't happen, and you're like, <laughs> "Nope, I'm I'm gonna do it." Yeah, I'm <laughs> around and catch him do it one time. Like it's just it's just opposite. Everyone's hey. like, "Is he gonna let it go?" <laughs> <laughs> the crowd will cheer. You turn around and you get hit again. Yeah, every time. He's like carrying it. the chair to the ring. <laughs> I'm gonna carry well, the chair like Thunder like... Rosa carries her belt. I'm gonna have the chair like this every time I run out. <laughs> As, as long as you don't hit me like Stevie Richards hit JBL, we all right. <laughs> yeah, you don't deserve that much. Just a soft, a soft chair shot. <laughs> what we got on the on the uh, on the Man. docket today, gentlemen? All right. So uh, I assume we're going to talk a little bit. We're going to talk a little bit about the week this past week of wrestling. Go over some of the things that we liked, we didn't like. Of course, that's just what we do here. But we also have for you guys today. The heat wheel, because I didn't want to get demonetized, even though we don't make any money, by calling it Hot Wheels. <laughs> yeah. So we got the no, heat wheel. No, Hot Wheel is fine. You just can't say Hot Wheels. Exactly. Ah. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Well, I already put it for the name. LLC is already coming down. So heat wheel. <laughs> we're going to go with the heat wheel for today. Uh, what we're going to do is, as you can see, we have certain categories here all throughout the wheel. And we're going to go down one at a time, probably about two or three times through, and going to give the wheel a spin. And whatever category that wheel lands on, we have to give a hot take that we have about that specific category. So our categories for today are storylines that could be throughout any wrestling company. Any wrestling company, we usually talk a lot about AEW, WWE here, but... If anybody follows uh, New Japan more closely, NWA Power, of course, Impact. I think I'm the only one in this group that actually watches Impact. And the Juice. There you go. There you go. All right. So any storyline through any company. Move over. We also have Champions and Championships. Again, that floats throughout any company. It's kind of a, a freebie. We actually have a freebie with Choose Your Stipulation. So any hot take you have about anything in wrestling could be, uh, you know, what we see on a uh, regular TV basis to, you know, podcasts, interviewers, anything like that that has to do with wrestling. Choose your stipulation. We have a category for tag teams throughout any company. But then we have a few more specific ones. Again, we talk mostly about AEW and WWE here. So we have <clears throat> AEW's uh, women's. Or oh, I put two women's divisions. Cool. You're uh, you're really feeling the w- women's division today. Yeah, I say we got some uh some hot takes about AEW's women's division. Uh, we will switch that around. We'll have AEW's uh women's and men's division, and then a WWE women's and men's division as well. So let me go ahead and fix that real quick. Sounds like you span the wheel a little too soon. <laughs> make sure it works. You got to make sure it works. Yeah, I feel like I feel like both companies. Well, I'll, I'll save some of my thoughts. I'll save some of my thoughts. That's literally what the wheel is for, Raph. <laughs> we just had a discussion. He doesn't know what a hot take is. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm coming with the, the medium heat takes. The medium, yeah. Like warming up a freaking oh, oven. While you're setting that up, I got a gimmick already. One second. When you go, when you go put the pizza in the microwave and it comes out kind of cold and hot in places. So we're going to start like that. You put your pizza in the microwave? Yeah. Yeah. That's how we starting? 
<laughs> this yeah. literally is this, this, put it in the oven, Raph. You gotta put it in the microwave when you don't oh, have time yeah. for the oven. Oh my god. Uh, you don't got an air fryer? I never put pizza in the air fryer. Good. It works better. It does. In the oven? Well, you don't have those long, you know, the the super large pizza. triangle pizzas. This is what this is what we need to talk about here on the hill. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what show I'm doing. Working the knee. This is what we need to talk about. Kneading the dough. That's what we need to change. To. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the topics. You snoring, dude? Actually, we'll we'll hold off on that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but before we get into the wheel, uh, anything pop up this week, piques y'all interest? We need to talk about. Um, I, I was an advocate last week and said that we need to, uh, give triple M a little bit more time. And after last night, <laughs> I think that shit's already over. <laughs> like that quick. <laughs> I, 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 I turned on them and it, it, I think it just was like I'm one of the heel turns that I was discussing last night because um, I definitely turned on those guys it's, it's how do you give this guy a knockoff Velveteen Dream gimmick I mean, when, are, when are we going to have them wrestle that's going to be the next thing that's going to probably be the determining factor I still love it I the crowd was boring it's... and boring. Boo, this is boring. Like the whole time. They tried to edit over the, the, the boring chance, but it was it's not working right now. It was man. too far gone. Yeah. yeah. You guys are right. <clears throat> not gonna happen. Well, they bought, I assume they bought months worth of outfits. So we're not gonna see them wrestle for a while. <laughs> I assume I assume Vince goes hard with that. He's like, I I need everything. We're gonna have Vince a going hard is is a problem right now. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, not, talk, let's not talk about that. Let's not bring that into the show. I was say those memes Vince are shouldn't go memes hard. Are fire, though. <laughs> the Vince McMahon memes are, are on point right now. Oh, poor thing. Okay. Uh, so still all in agreement. Maximum male models is doing great things, and no, uh, no, you got a lot, you got a lot to look forward to. <laughs> they are about to be the future Endeavor champions. Lots. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm ready, I'm ready for them to show up with uh with, with an even better outfit next week. That's what I'm saying. We got, and, and we could always add. We can always add to them. There's only one person you can add to them, and they fired them a year ago. I swear you were the only advocate for the Velveteen Dream. <laughs> I'm gonna remain because I I've seen worse. You your your owner of the company has done worse than what <laughs> Velveteen Dream has done. It's not looking good. It's not looking good right now. <laughs> you fired this guy. It's not looking good right now. When well, you, uh, you just remember the old the old saying, "Do as I say, not as I do." <laughs> Dream didn't even do what he did. He didn't come close. This guy. Oh my God! I need I need Dream, Sasha, and Naomi back. You know what? If you wouldn't have got rid of Sasha and Naomi, none of this would have happened to him. Have you noticed that everything started coming out once he got rid of them? Yep. All the stuff. <laughs> the Dude. moment he said they were unprofessional is when his unprofessionalism came out. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole! Give that company to <laughs> Triple H and Stephanie and let them battle Tony Khan. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a, a triple threat. No, it's gonna be a handicap match for the rights to the company, and somehow, somehow Nick Khan's gonna come out winning that. He's gonna steal a chair to the back of the head. He's gonna turn like Seth did on the Shield. It better be. It better end with like that William Shatner Khan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Beyond that, I think this was a. This wasn't a good week of wrestling across the board, as far as what we typically discuss um AEW and um and WWE it wasn't really wasn't really that good <laughs> all of no. so we're coming off the back of money in the bank <clears throat> we had a cash in again women are allowed to hold briefcases and 
we had Theory just getting shoehorned into the match, which I don't know. I think that was a it was an annoying move, but was it like a really good heel move? No. Is that 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 go away heat that they talk about, or was it a smart storyline move? Because he- I'm just tired of them throwing theory in my face. Like, yeah, damn, go away. Like, <laughs> yeah, ain't that good. But I, I feel like they need to let them build up naturally. They don't have time to let him build up naturally. He's 24. He's only got a few years left. <laughs> That's exactly the problem. He's only he's only good for about 18 more months. I feel so, like they could have let him get the the uh, the Seth turn. Or maybe that's what they're trying to do, and it's not. It's Seth turned the heel, and then you know he won Money in the Bank, and then things started happening. Like I don't know if that's what they're going for, that kind of build, or what. But it didn't. It didn't feel good. Theory winning didn't feel even as even as a heel. It didn't feel like this was the the decision you should have made here. What about here? Theory being champion. Being world champion, can we see this happening? Is he gonna when he cashes in? Does he does he fail at his cash in, or does he win on his cash in? He's gonna be. What, what would that make him? The third person to fail? Because what you had Sandow, Corbin, Cena. Cena. Oh, yeah, Cena, Cena failed the cash in. Yeah, Cena yeah. failed. Yeah, so he called the shot, four, right? Was no, number one? five, because which McCall it didn't win last year. I mean, not uh, last year, but uh, uh, what's his face? Um, that Otis. Otis? Otis. I don't count yeah. that though because Otis Otis's briefcase went to the Miz. Yeah, and, yeah. and yeah. the Miz did the cash one. in and get his. Yeah, yeah. We but, didn't uh, do that percentage thing. It's, it keeps saying eighty five percent. It sounded more like seventy. <laughs> do we? Yeah. What I'm saying, do we see? Do we see theory cashing in and actually being successful? Yeah, yeah cashing. And then if he does cash in. Are we ready for him to be the youngest? Cha- is he gonna be the youngest champion, or is it still Brock or Randy or whoever it was? I think they were twenty four. No, was Randy? Wasn't Randy twenty four? He yeah. was, but he was a uh, twenty four with a uh, big gold. Yeah, with the world champions. Oh, you know they so count. Yeah, would be the youngest if he cashed in. Wow. What are you trying to do? A sec. It depends on his birthday. He might be a little older than Brock, but they'll tell. They'll definitely tell us. They will definitely let us know. 24, 363 days. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I can see it happening just because I could see – I can't see it happening against Brock or uh, Roman like they're trying to push for this week and all the way up to SummerSlam. That's a big story right now is whoever wins at SummerSlam is basically going to lose that same night because Theory's just going to cash in right behind him. Right. It's like that's – I don't see that happening. This is a long. This is long term. We give him shit about long term storytelling. This is gonna be long term storytelling right here. He's gonna hold that briefcase probably until the night after Mania. I can see him doing it the Raw after Mania. Like like Dolph, he's gonna pull a Dolph. Yeah, I could. Uh, <clears throat> I could see him trying to uh, recreate the Rollins heist of the century <clears throat> and failing at it, and then that would actually be way better. It that would actually be good. That would be, yeah, that'd be really good. <laughs> I mean, that would be, I think that would be, you know, help him out in his natural, like, rise as a heel. Mm -hmm. If he tried that out, he failed, and we all just point and laugh at him. That's just going to be way better, like, organically. He's going to get, like, good, good, you suck heat from that. Especially if he tries to cash it in on who I think is going to be the champion at WrestleMania, that's Cody. Yeah. So, yeah, This, this this is a good way this can go, and this can end. It just was really just thrown in our faces at the last second. Do we not think that Drew is getting the title here? At, at, <laughs> at, uh, Are we just skipping over this fact? <laughs> and he's No, he, he doesn't need a title. He keeps chopping ropes. <laughs> <laughs> I read something about them saying that all of a sudden he has cane powers, like when he chopped the rope, the, the fire. All the up. fire started. Yeah. So like, <laughs> Once I read it, like, yeah, had he had this two years ago, he'd still be champ. Yeah, <laughs> this man doesn't need powers. <laughs> Just, <laughs> he carries a sword to the ring already. Like, what more do you want, man? You don't need to have 
Bergen Powers at the same time. But I think, yeah, I think he's picking up. I think he might pick up the belt in September. No, you yeah. don't. You don't think that? Stop it. I so know. It's it's a <laughs> that he's only going for one of the titles, not for both. Like maybe he wins the. It's a. It's the SmackDown title that he wins. Or they split it back up or something. You can't have that man go to go home to England and lose. <laughs> like that's gonna be t- <laughs> your first event there in what? What they say? Twenty five years? Thirty years? Thirty years? Oh no, no, no! You, you, under, you underestimate what WWE can really do. Yes, <laughs> they will. They will book a stadium for the hometown hero, and, then, <laughs> and feed him moves. to the wolves. <laughs> they had they had Davy Boy win when they went back for SummerSlam, <clears throat> and the biggest intercontinental title match in wrestling in wrestling history. And they had and- Sasha drop her title in Boston. That wasn't a mania, though, was it? (laughs) Or SummerSlam. I I think Drew is getting one of these belts here in England, and then maybe and uh, maybe Theory cashes in on Drew, so that it's not messing up the Cody situation. I get down with that. He's only going to be the transitional champion anyway, so I'm not mad at it either way. He's going to hold that belt for maybe a month or two, lose it at the next pay-per-view, whenever he cashes in, and then we're good to go. Wash our hands of this theory. Nah, he's going to be just like the man. He's going to cash in and hold it for a while. Headline WrestleMania, beat whoever the star is at the time. <laughs> and lose it at the next event? Right. Right. He's going to be like the Miz's second Cena. run and run into Bobby Lashley again. Miz yeah. beat Cena at Mania. Concussed. As a matter of fact, you you and the Miz are the only two who won't let us forget that. Yeah, I'm I'm Team Miz. Miz is is on. He's like third on my my list. Blacks, Samoans. Oh no 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 no! I'm sorry. He's fourth. Blacks, <laughs> Samoans, Hearts, and then and then Miz. Miz is right there. Why, why why don't you just change it from Hearts to just Canadians? Like <laughs> all, yeah, all of them. No, no all of them. <laughs> Kenny Omega is Canadian. So. Yeah, no, some of them Canadians. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Yeah, let's, yeah. Scratch, let's scratch Kenny out of there. No, I was gonna say because speaking of Canadians, uh, Christian's doing wild things over there on AEW. So maybe oh, yeah. like Christian was the best part of the week. <laughs> the last few weeks, as a matter of fact. Christian's been on fire, man. It's that turtleneck. I'm telling y'all. You come down to that black turtleneck. He's a fiend. He's the real fiend of the love wrestling right now. That boy is wilding out there. Calling out his drunk brother. <laughs> Fans instantly were like, <laughs> uh, I usually have to watch Dynamite the, the day after a recording while I'm getting ready for work. And I had to like I paused it and rewound it. I was like, he did not, he didn't just say that <laughs> <laughs> on live TV. <laughs> I had to go sit down. Is nothing off limits for Christian right now? Like, yo, it, it seems whatever. that way. <clears throat> but I mean, like, he's like he's next level assholes here right now, and it's yeah. it's great. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> he is yeah, he is working really well to the point like I've heard like. Well, if he got the world title, I wouldn't be mad right now. Me either. He's like just off of two weeks. Well, I guess three if you want to count the beat down on Jungle Boy. He's like the best thing going for AEW right now. <laughs> yeah. Just remember, I remember a time where his he was hyped up as the biggest signing in AEW, and we laughed. Right. And we laughed mm-hmm. at that. Now look at us. He's up there laughing at us. <laughs> he just I had to sit, wait for his moment, and then he's just gonna hit a fucking home run. I would not be mad if he defeated Moxley for the title. I wouldn't neither, be mad. Neither would I. I'm, I'm pushing for that actually. <laughs> I'm, 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 Anything I'm, to beat Moxley, petition. right? I have a petition. I need you guys to sign. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be mad, and also. <laughs> Probably right behind him, even though I know they're trying to, you know, get Wardlow over. And congratulations to Wardlow for winning the the uh, what was it the T- TNT championship? Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, good moment for Wardlow, and obviously Scorpio Sky has an injury and had to drop the belt. 
So it wasn't necessarily – I know people were complaining about the TNT title getting hot potato the round, and it just goes from champion to champion. It's lost its value. But this one was a case where it kind of felt like it had to happen so Scorpio can go heel. So I'm not really mad about that. But um, Orange Cassidy has been on fire too lately. And they've yeah, been putting on a lot of great matches. The fans go crazy for him. How long do you think before they have to kind of maybe look at Orange Cassidy and say maybe you can get that TNT title or or the the uh, what's the other one the all all uh, all Atlantic all Atlantic title? Well, he, he's he's gonna have to get a belt at some point. No, maybe he's over enough that he doesn't need a belt. You know, some people just got mm-hmm. that. They're just that. over. They don't need. Yeah, he don't need a belt. I don't think. He's over. As you said, these last couple of weeks, his matches have been dope. Yep. Fans' reaction is just – and I wouldn't want the – all. what's the All-Atlantic belt? I wouldn't want that because we haven't seen that belt since Pac won it. And now I'm seeing he's going to defend it on Dark. So I'm like, oh, shit, it's just – what is this belt? What does this belt really mean? So is it like Dark? In, in about three weeks, Rossi, he has 13 title defenses. So Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's wrestling on Dark this week. So it's like yeah. this belt Please. really – but he is taking that the All Atlantic uh, is going overseas. He's going to be doing it in another promotion. So I think that belt was brought in to be like a traveling belt. So we shouldn't see that on AEW TV like anytime soon. Anyway, hmm. pac has got like he's got like uh, matches lined up for the All Atlantic belt in companies like over in the UK. Uh, I think different companies outside of AEW. I don't know if he's doing it in Japan yet, but. It's a pretty cool. I think it's a cool concept. I thought I don't think we needed an extra title, but if you're not going to put it on TV anyway, it's going to be like more of like an ambassador. Yeah, if you do the, it that way, I, I can get down with it. If yeah, it's a traveling belt, I can get down with that. They just, keep it. Belt. I like they, it. They, they just need to make sure that we have the ability to see the title defenses. So you yeah. know, we're not just yeah. sitting here like, oh, hey, he lost it over here. Right, right. Let us, <laughs> let us know before, you know, somebody great O'Conn shows up. He's all Atlantic. <laughs> what? <laughs> what what just happened? Like I think I skipped a few episodes of, of Dynamite or something. So yeah, as and long as they keep that like show that, up at the out. event in England and fight Drew, Drew should there you go, Drew. <laughs> Drew it, all it can the be defended anywhere, right? Just show up in WWE with that title. All of a sudden, he's on NXT UK. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> well, nobody watches NXT UK, so we would never. They would if he popped up on there. Yeah. I'd tune in if he popped up on there. I'd at least watch the replay. <laughs> Maybe not watch it live, but the replay. Before, um, we, before we get into the, the wheel... Um, I'd like to thank our sponsor. I'd like to say congratulations to to Liv Morgan. I think we all did. We all pick Liv. I didn't I pick think, her to win it, but I, I wanted her to. I picked her to win it. I think I said my my heart said Liv, but my <clears throat> brain said Becky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And man, when she won, I was like, yes, 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 great, great moment. Crowd goes crazy. Everybody loved it. Michael Cole sold it. Everything was great, right? Mm-hmm. She goes backstage. She has that interview. She was like, I'm going to hold on to this for a little bit. I was like, okay, yeah, don't, don't cash in. Go ahead. You know? And then they did the the uh, the uh, Carmella attacking Bianca after the match. I was like, oh, shit, here we go. And then nothing happened. I said, thank you. Thank you. Yep, yep. Thank you. And then after the... Uh, you know, the Natty and Ronda match when Liv's music hit the whole time Liv coming to the ring. I'm like, no, like, just don't do it. Don't do it. And then she slides in the hands of me. I was like, Natty attack her from behind or something. Like, stop, it. <laughs> stop this from happening right now. And then they started the match. I was like, well, this is how it's going to end. Let her get the briefcase. And then it just shortly, nothing's going to happen. And then she got put the ankle lock. I was like, not like this, man. Like this. <laughs> I'm, I'm like emotional. <laughs> like, oh, she gonna tap out to Ronda like this? Like, don't do it. And then she kicked her in the knee. I said, yes, yes. I was like happy as shit. So I think that was a really good moment. Did you guys see the the different camera angle when they showed Cole and uh, McAfee? No, I didn't see that. Mm-mm. 
Yeah, there's there's a different one that they had them like up. They were sitting on the knee. They were sitting on like right underneath the table, the announce table, and Michael Cole's announcing the win as it's happening, and he's going crazy. He like jumps up and he's. It, it made it feel more special if you guys can find that one. I saw it on Twitter, but it was it was it was nice <coughs> that they showed that angle of it. Uh, Cole was like Pat. His energy level was like Pat's. It's good. You can see like how much Pat has like made an impact on uh, Cole's commentary and everything like that. It's actually refreshing. Yeah, yeah. It's actually really refreshing to get them on a uh, on commentary together. But yeah. Kudos, Liv. Again, I'm just mad that we didn't get a longer run with the briefcase. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. That is my only, uh, you know, I guess. This is the issue. second time they cashed in on the same night for the women. It's kind of like, it, uh, don't let this be a thing. Please don't let this be a thing. Where? No, it happened there. No, because it happened. So it happened here. It happened with, uh, didn't Bailey do it on Charlotte? Bailey won, and they came down that same night, cashed in. Yeah, Alexa Bliss did it. Oh. Yeah, yep. don't let this be a thing. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, this. They've all done it. They've all done it except for Carmella and Nikki Ash, who waited uh, till the next night. They have no, no Bailey lost the women. It. They don't want the women to have long term. Bailey no. lost it like the following SmackDown. I want to say. Did she? And then that's what led to her heel turn. Oh yeah, but then she got it right back. So yeah, she got it right back, but she lost it immediately to back to Charlotte. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, can't have everything. I would like to see the one of the women ca- uh, have a longer, a longer uh, run with the the briefcase. But I'm not mad about how this one turned out. No, no, I guess not. That belt needed to come off Ronda, and her promo last night against Natty just kind of. Prove the point. That shit was terrible. She needs a mouth. She needs to join the bloodline and just let Paul Heyman speak for her. <laughs> Good lord. Oh man, that was bad. As a as a resident from Texas, you were not allowed to say Tejas like that, Rhonda. Tejas. That, that made me mad. That that was my that's how I know she's a heel in my book now. All right, all right. That's we all start the wheel. I gotta I gotta bounce. So I'll let y'all do that. All right, jump it off the apron. Not letting the hot tag continue today. Hot tag Gresham. <laughs> Reach it. Oh, and he's off the apron. Oh, <laughs> oh perfect timing though, because I think we're uh, we're wrapping that up, right? Time to start yeah. the wheel. Yeah, time, time to start, to start the, wheel. the wheel. All right. <clears throat> All right, here we go, gentlemen. Let's do it. Sending it that way. Cool. I think we got it all set up then. Boom. All right. It's all on my screen. Awesome. So just a quick recap. We have AEW men's and women's division now. Sweet. Okay. Cool. So we're going to go from starting off to the big lucha. Drop down. We'll go back up. And if we have time, we'll do a third one uh, on the way down. But definitely two, maybe three. Let's see how hot these takes really can be. Light bars. Uh, All right. So, you ready, Big Lucha? I am. Let's spin this wheel. Freezing cold take. Let's go. (laughs) Oh. And there you go. Start off with the AEW women's division. Let's hear it, Hot Bardo. Let's hear it, Big Lucha. What is your hot take on the AEW women's division? Um. Hot take right now. <laughs> the most lukewarm. It's, it's going to be lukewarm, I feel like. Uh, we need to get the belt off of Thunder Rosa. Okay. No, I call that a hot take. How dare you? Yeah. It's <laughs> off. Yeah. <laughs> My first question is, how dare you? Man. And we need to but, – but the problem is, I don't know who to put it on. <laughs> I don't like if take the belt off of her. I don't feel like it's it's an ex like she's teaming with somebody she just had a, a, a feud with, right? Yeah. But um, uh, I don't feel like she's generating excitement with the title. 
right now, other than when she runs to the ring holding holding the belt like that. That's that's the most exciting part. She's a great talent in the ring, but I don't feel like the crowd is completely behind her. I feel like they need to put that belt on a bigger star. Right now, the TBS title means more than the main title to me. That's the more important title. Your secondary title is being is more prestigious than your 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 top title. Hmm. Am I am I am I far off on this one? You're not you're not far off in saying that uh, we need to do something with the women's division and that title, but and you're not far off. I don't think by saying that the TBS title. Uh, I don't want to say it's more important because, well, I mean, I feel like they put more emphasis on the TBS title than they do the the women's world title. I think they put more emphasis on the TBS champion, and that's the problem. Because the title itself is not like I don't look at the TBS title and say, okay, that's the prize that the women want because she defends it, you know, once a month or not once a month, sorry, like once a quarter at the pay per views. Which is fine. It doesn't, doesn't bother me at all. But, you know, Thunder Rosa, she's out there. She defended it. She's already defended it, what, three times since she's got it? Uh, but, yeah, it's just the way that she's booked, man. She's, you know, every time they say, hey, here's some promo time, somebody cuts her off like two minutes into it. You know, it's, hey, go out there and have a match with uh, or start a feud with Tony Storm. Well, Tony's too popular to be losing right away. Like, yep. What, like, okay, well, what are we going to do now? This tag team, it may work out depending on if one of them, you know, I hate to do it, but how can they coexist kind of thing? If one of them turns on the other one, I guess that'll put a little bit of heat behind this feud, but I don't know, man. I don't know. It, it's it's tough right now, but I do not think we need to take the belt off of Thunder Rosa. That's that's where you lost me, sir. I don't know. I don't know what else we can do here, man. I don't. I don't. And then you know, we're, since we're talking about the entire division, it it seemed for a minute that they were trying to set up like a tag division almost initially, like they were building towards uh, a tag division, and then. <clears throat> Uh, what's what's my girl's name? I'm drawing a blank right now. That turned on Mercedes last night. Serena. Yeah, Serena. Serena yeah, like they're they're arguing the whole time, and then she just beats the crap out of her and sets up sets up the feud for uh, Sir, uh for Mercedes title at Ring of Honor. At Ring of Honor, I was like, what what what's going on, man? What's going on right now? There might be too much for Tony, man. He's got to book two companies, you know, going on. He's probably just working himself thin. But no, I get it. I, I, I mean, the women's division at AEW has been a, a point of contention for a long time now. Oh, God, he's back. Did, did you intend to be back? Yeah, man, I'm just sitting here listening to you guys. <laughs> just sitting here to, to do the thing. <laughs> I thought it was like guests or something. I didn't know it was like. <laughs> no, you're fine. You had the workers come through. Okay. Yeah. Got he tried you. back in. Yeah, he just had to run to the back real quick. Where's Britt? Is she hurt or was she just no. attending to Bebe right now? Probably. Since he's it's hurt. It's good that she's off TV because every time she comes on TV, anybody that you're trying to build up is going to get overshadowed. Yeah. So it's good that she's off TV for a little bit. And that pop's going to be huge when she does finally come back. So, But it does take a little longer because right now they should be doing something with her and Jamie Hayter. Yeah. I saw one thing that said uh, Jamie Hayter, if she gets kicked out of uh, Brit's you know, little group, whatever, the dentist's office or whatever they call themselves, uh, she wouldn't be opposed to joining the Blackpool Combat Club, and that'd I was like, hard. "Oh yes, that'd be hard. That is that is what you need right there." 
They have everybody. They just need one badass woman figure to come in and just drop those elbows. No, no. You know, I wouldn't be opposed to seeing her do that. And defeating Thunder Rosa for the world title. Okay, that's it for you. All right. <laughs> Next up is the juice. Are you ready for your hot take, sir? Yeah, I swear to God, if it lands on women's division, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's give it a spin. WWE Women's Division. Let's go, let's go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, this is uh, this, this thing going to take long. WWE, if you're listening, what the shit yes. is with your whole division? Yes. Both Raw, SmackDown, NXT, it's all been horrible. What are you doing? You've got some of the best talent that's out there. And I wish they would go to other places because you all suck at using them. Not AEW. I don't think you can say suck and using them when you're talking about women's division with WWE just because of what's going on. Damn it. <laughs> I don't, I don't think hot take, man. <laughs> I don't know if that is a hot take because I think everybody agrees that WWE's women's division is kind of lacking. You just, I mean, the fact is, they don't have anybody anymore. Yeah. They let everybody go. I will I mean, say, we're... down at NXT, though, I mean, like, Toxic Attraction were doing big things. Were, were like, they? Were they? They were doing okay things. <laughs> it's not like... Be this way. I used to... Past. I used to look forward to anything that was NXT. Anything because you had both their divisions were stacked. Their women's division was great, their men's division was great. What do they have now? Like, what do they have now? Like, yeah. you got a person who fucking falls asleep? Chase University and Wendy Chu. <laughs> they have, they have, uh, I love Apollo. Wendy Chu. <laughs> Just they have, I don't know. Am I the only one? You sure. are the only one. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, made him leave. That was a hot take. Made hot take. See? There you go. I was right. <laughs> Nikita is okay. Flash Legends is okay. I still think they need a little bit more time. Yeah, the, um, the new the the new tag team champions, uh, Cora Jade and Roxy Perez. They're pretty Ro good. The Roxy, Roxanne, Roxanne Perez. Yeah, they're good. They are good. They are good. And. um one of them's gonna turn on the other one, and it's gonna be funny. But do you do you seek out trying to watch this on a weekly basis? No, no, I don't. exactly. And it used I, to be the other way. Like I, like I used to look forward to even even I even called the I even called a law. Like I wasn't too keen on the the time frame that Baszler was champion too much because Baszler literally came out, choked him out, went home. But now, now it's like. Why do I care about anything? Like in any of these divisions, like I'll start with Raw real quick. Raw, you have Bianca, you've got Becky, and that's about all I'm going to give you anymore. Like I, I, like I love Oscar, I do, but they don't know how to use her. And like, I mean, come on now. You the other week, right before Money in the Bank, you put her on the announce team. <laughs> you put her on the announce team. <laughs> And like literally, she ended every single time she talked with nobody was ready for Oscar. I was like, "Yo, you're just ruining this right now." It's like you all just, just figure something out. You know, give her a mouthpiece. I don't care. I, I I appreciate that they let her talk. Period. But you don't you don't do that. Like that just ruins a person. Like it's terrible. Let's say maybe because I do love it when uh, she gets out there and she just. I don't I don't know if she's like actively. Like saying anything important in her native language, because obviously we don't speak Japanese. I hope she's just out there, just blabbering off, talking about carrot, uh, you know, carb, gas prices. Uh, you know. <laughs> it would, that would be great. Like I, like I, like I feel like I need to like hire a translator for like right. Like Sonic <laughs> Two is the best of the Sonics. Like I hope that's what she's saying out there, and then ends it with nobody's ready for Oscar, because that would be fantastic. That would make me love her even more. Um. I always thought like maybe she's cussing in in Japanese 
<laughs> and we have no idea. Like she just motherfuckers and just everything. <laughs> and they, they don't know. The and kids, just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> it's just the worst stuff ever. But who knows? Somebody, just not us, not our uncultured asses. Yeah. Well, yeah, her, you, her, you, her Japanese fan base is like, oh, she called him a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, great. we're sitting here like, um, okay. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what was that? Nobody's ready. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, I, well, I don't know. I kind of I kind of agree though, man. Like, granted, there's some injuries. There's a big injury that should be returning from injury here <laughs> any any moment now. Uh. But then you got you let go of everybody, man. And then they're showing up on the other side. And then if the rumors are true, Sasha and Naomi are officially gone now. Mm-hmm. Even though I haven't seen the the future endeavor um message come out from them, but it, it was reported that they're off the internal roster or whatever. So their women's division is a bit in shambles. Even though I do like that Liv is champ, Bianca's a great champ. I love Bianca. Um, but you got to give them some good challengers, man. And and why is Shayna not a beast and not the, going for these titles, man? I mean, you got to look at it. You had you had her literally win a triple threat match against in, at Survivor Series, and then she's just whoa, we're just not going to use her anymore. Fuck, yeah. Yeah, we don't know what to do. Why are you in a car? <laughs> Us fellas, I'm telling you, man, it's it's a lot going on, man. It's Saturday morning, y'all y'all pick crazy times to do this show. <laughs> it's a lot going on right now. Live the gimmick. He's on the move. <laughs> working, he's taking the work in the knee on the road. There you go. All right, fine. But if you, you know, stay yeah, safe. <laughs> I swear, if you crash. And he's out. Yeah, he's um, gone. He figured out. He just lost connection to his Wi Fi. Um, yeah, he'll be back. Okay. No, I think we all agree. We all agree with the juices take, but is it a hot take? It's a lukewarm take. Lukewarm take? Fair enough. There, the, 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 I, I got a good hot take if I get a good spin on this wheel. So Okay. <laughs> we'll come back to you. It's my turn. Let me spin my wheel. Let's see where we're at right now. Women's division. Oh, damn it. Yeah, all right again. <laughs> oh, this is... <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Where'd the dog come from? Oh, my God. I turned away for two seconds. We got a hot tag in a car. We got a dog on Juice's lap. I swear. <laughs> all right. So, championship. So, I'm going to go with... Uh, I actually do want to talk a little bit about the TNT title. And... I guess my hot take would be that I actually like that it gets hot shotted. I think that that's more realistic, a title getting hot shotted, than, okay, let's say, for instance, Wardlow just won his his championship, right? He's Mm -hmm. just won the title and everything like that. When do we expect, realistically, Wardlow to drop this belt? I think Wardlow holds on to it for a few months. For a few months, quite a long time. I would say it's going to look a lot like Miro's run. He'll probably have it for like a year. Right. He'll hold yeah, they, it. They, they built him up as indestructible. He's the war machine. Who's going to beat him? Miro. Miro. <laughs> better not. It better not have Miro win. Miro. I, Miro. <laughs> I want Miro to fight him next week. <laughs> <laughs> But that's the thing. Is, Miro right now. But that's the thing is, if he wins the belt, we can expect Wardlow to hold that thing for you know it's feasible over a year. He's gonna he could possibly be the longest reigning TNT champion we've ever seen, and hold that record for a while. So, what is the excitement in the next pay per view coming up? What is the excitement in his next title defense? Where is the excitement? Where because we're 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 smarter fans now. There is no excitement in knowing that, okay, let's just be honest. Nobody thought that, uh, you know, using another example, 
nobody thought Cesaro was going to beat Roman Reigns for the Universal Title. We all okay. hoped. We hoped, but there was no no one thought it was going to happen. I did. Right. I wanted uh, it. You thought it. You thought it was. It still yeah. will be. Damn it. <laughs> the Swiss I, Superman, damn it. I wanted yeah. it to happen. I knew it wasn't, but I wanted it to. All right. And, you know, it was all the way up until, and then with the, the you know, going back, they do it with all the titles. Um, the AEW World Championship. Everybody knew that Hangman was going to be the one to take it off of Kenny Omega, or at least we hoped. But for the most part, we knew Hangman was going to take it. Nobody thought Christian was going to take the world title from. Kenny Omega, and he took the Impact World Title. That was that was a shock. That was good enough for Christian. That's good, <laughs> but nobody thought he was dropping that AEW World Title. My point is, hot shotting the belt is, in my opinion, not a terrible thing. It keeps people on their toes. It's like, okay, if you want people to believe that this is really a you know combat sport, right? Well, what happens in the UFC? What happens in Bellator? People win the title. They don't hold it for years. They usually lose it after one, two, maybe even their first title defense. Is how it goes down. Or, you know, or if they, they get busted <clears throat> with drugs. <laughs> We're cool with drugs here. But that would be my point. The TNT title is not uh, – I don't think it's lost its prestige or its value because some pretty great people have held it. There hasn't been anybody who's held it. Uh, with maybe the exception of Sammy. Yeah, Sammy. But outside of those guys, everybody else who's held it has been like a credible champion. And let's not forget that when Sammy won it, it was a huge deal. Yeah, yeah. You know, His so initial we, run was good. Right. We didn't know what was going to happen after that. But, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. At the time, it was a big deal. So hot shotting the belt is not a terrible thing. As long as it never turns into 24-7 nonsense, I think that works out. Yep. Um, but they, there wasn't even really a talk about them hot shot of the belt until that back and forth with Sammy and Cody and, and Scorpio Sky. Before then, I didn't see too many people complaining about the belt. Because it wasn't so quickly. Miro held right. it. I want to say Miro held it for a little while, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. And Darby Allen had the most title defenses ever with it. He was defending it every other week. Yeah, I, I don't think it was a problem until it was it became Sammy. Right. But, even, but even then, the only, thing, the only thing they complained about the belt was the design. All the design looks crappy, and then when they got better, like I said, it, it wasn't a problem until Sammy held it. So even when Cody had it, what three times, nobody said anything. So <laughs> I can I can see. Goodness coming from uh, uh, Warlow having the title because just because we we fully expect that he's gonna win every match uh, doesn't mean that the matches can't be good. It's gonna be like a it can be like a a, a, a Kenny Omega thing. Like while Kenny was champion, you knew Kenny was wasn't about to lose these matches, but you still were like, oh, that's gonna be a good ass match. Kenny versus this guy. Kenny versus that guy. That's like. I want to see this match. This is going to be good. I think Wardlow can do that with with these belts, depending on who. Uh, I mean, with this title, depending on who they put up against them. Like, if he has some good challengers, you know, and they're not like we're going to have you fight the Big Show next week. Like, if they don't do that, then um, I think it'll be good. Put some credible opponents in front of them. Put some people that you think might deserve it, even in a losing effort. He could fight Orange Cassidy. As long as Orange looks strong in the match and, you know, goes down at the end and it's just not a kick in the gut and triple powerbomb instantly kind of deal, then then that will bring some, some good prestige to the title. Yeah, but I don't want Orange Cassidy just looking strong in matches. I want him to actually win matches. I can't have him have main events and lose every main event. He's not Eddie Kingston. I can't have him losing every main event and then looking strong in television matches. But they they built to switch to the other side. That's how they built Liv up. Like Liv was in in high profile matches <clears throat> and was losing. She but she looked good losing. Like she was in a she. There was like, oh man, you can see how much she's 
improved in the ring and all this stuff. No, no. Liv but did not. Liv, Liv got it because she got heart. Oh, she got heart. She's a hard worker. But I've never seen a match where Liv where I'm like, damn, this is a good match. She looks good in losing. The match against Becky, she looked great. And she, just, she just took an L. <laughs> no, man. No, no. I, I like. I mean, I, I think it's a decent comparison, but but yeah. What, what do y'all think? Hot take or no? I think it's a hot take. Um. Uh, oh no, I don't know. I can go either way on that one. I don't want it to go back and forth. I don't want the title to be switched. Um. I don't want the title to switch every, you know, few weeks. You know, like three weeks from now, there's a new champion. I don't want that. But I think if they just have good, I think if they do have good matches, and I think if um, if they main event like when Darby had, I think it could be good. But like you said, don't put it on dark. Don't have it on fucking rampage every week. Like make it make it the belt. I can't see Moxley every week defending the belt. So let's make this belt something. Let's have them defend it. Make it the Cena US title run. Let's have them defend and have good matches. But yeah. I don't think you'll get that with Warlow though, because Warlow is gonna be a smash he's just gonna smash everybody. I don't think it's gonna be a, a excellent match. I think it's just gonna be like five minutes smash and that's it, you know? Mm. The big man has improved in the ring though. I will give him that much. Oh yeah he's really oh yeah he's really good. That boy is really good. All right. Sweet. Hot tag. You ready to spin the wheel? Man, I can't even see the wheel, man. So y'all got to tell me what's up. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a problem. Oh, we, got a, we got a comment here. You can throw it up. And it's from Noah. Oh, that's my... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my hot take, Warlow could and probably will elevate the TNT championship. I say make his reign a good solid four to five and lose it to Clark. I wouldn't be mad at that. Nah. I wouldn't be mad at that. <coughs> say, well, what can I say? We're, uh, we're a wrestling family, you know? Don't be trying to steal Noah's credit. We got the, uh, <laughs> you, know, we, you know, what can I say? Don't be trying to steal his shine. He came up with that take. Takes after his older brother. <laughs> He's texting him on the side. Hey, man, say that. this. Say this the older brothers know where, where my older brothers at in this chat. Wait, none of know. us, none Damn of us. Yeah, of <laughs> <laughs> nah, Justin is, but me and Brian are little brothers. He knows. Nah, no, it's <laughs> right. I wouldn't be mad at that. Solid four or five months, let Claudio get in there. I agree. I can't wait to see what his title with the new custom title for Warlow looks like. Hmm. All right, let's do it. Hot tag, spinning the wheel. Women's division. This wheel, not your wheel, not your not your steering wheel. No, right, right. All right, WWE men's division. Uh, who's ready for story time with hot tag on the <laughs> <laughs> with Uncle Tag, baby? The men's division is it's almost the same as what we said about the women's division, like. It sucks. I you go <laughs> you only care about what? You care about Roman? You care about Seth? Who else are you going with here? Like I really don't care about I don't care about the about Bobby winning the belt back. I, I, I don't care about any of it. I'm I'm being I don't I, I fast forward most of the show, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm serious because they all they come out and they cut the same promo. It was like nothing happens. The matches, like I say, the only one that's interesting to me is, is Seth and Roman because I only want Roman to, to lose. And Seth has actually been entertaining these last couple of months. Who else can can you say you're very you're you're invested in? Give me a person that you're invested in. Mm. Bobby. And Kevin. It's not my hot take, it's yours, damn it. No, but I'm asking a question. I want all who who are you invested in? Put me on the spot like this. And if it takes you that long to think of it, like I said, what what are we going here? Elias. I do I do like Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Ezekiel? Ezekiel. There you go, Ezekiel. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like a third brother. 
Yeah. And the younger brother. Ezekiel they have so much potential. Life has been great. They have so much potential to do things with these individuals, man. Like you said, you got Riddle over here who's been – he has good matches. Um, but as soon as he got rid of Randy, like, they don't know what to do with him. Like, it would have been dope if he would have actually won. If he would have won against Roman, I wouldn't have been mad about that. He has good matches. But, dude, everybody's just like an afterthought. It's like the, the men's division, the tag division – who, who who can I sit down and be like, you know, I'm rooting for this guy. No one. But you, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm kind of saving it for – I'm kind of saving my opinion on this for my next hot take, assuming I get a good spin on the wheel. So this, this No, no, Brian, go ahead, man. I want to hear this. I want to hear <laughs> this. All right. All right, so I know we didn't really – nobody really cared about SmackDown after Roman. We Let's be honest, nobody really cared. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah. – but, there was one moment that gave me a glimmer of hope last night. Nakamura versus... There Luke you go. Ray. Yes. Yeah. So all this is leading up to is that match that I want to see between Nakamura and Gunther. I want that match. I care about that. I was gonna Dang, say, so yeah. you just gonna, we just going to skip over Nakamura and Roman? Like, their, their little beef is over now? Like Everybody else did. Everybody That's else. what I'm saying, man. What's what's going on here? If they don't care about their division, why should I? <laughs> <laughs> I care about this IC division right now. No, no, I got that. Oh no, no you don't. No, that That's your hot thing right there. Uh, <laughs> and I'm not. I'm. I'm not. You guys invested in Gun- Gunther, Walter, whatever. I'm not like. I know a lot of fast forward his matches too. I know he has good matches, but I'm like, dude. Ever since the name change, I'm kind of like, oh, this guy, man. I don't. Wanna, I, I don't want to. I don't want to say it's gonna. It's gonna sound fucked up, but he he almost seems a little less intimidating now that he's in better shape. Like he's less intimidating because he's Gunther. And yeah. that when he was fat, Walter, it was like this dude's gonna kill somebody. Bring back Fat Walter. <laughs> <laughs> WWE, I know you're watching. Do it. I like it when they say a guy his size shouldn't be able to do these things. I like when they say stuff like that, but now it's kind of like, man. Yes, they should. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's in great shape now. Yes, he is. He should be able to do That's that. It. You better not ever lose no weight, Lucha, because it won't be like, ha ain't nothing intimidating about you no more, big dog. <laughs> uh, I gotta, I gotta stay around Big Joe now, walking man. down the road. <laughs> you won't be the big Lucha anymore. You'll just be Lucha. <laughs> but no man that's that's my take on it. like if they're not if they're not invested in their men's division why should I like I, I think if Seth would have won the money in the bank and they try to replay and they try to redo what, what he did the the heist of the century I think that would have been cool if he would have lost the R if he would have won it I think it would have been a cool storyline but and they, they went like I said we already talked about Austin getting it it's like Come on, guys, do something, do something to grab me. But like I say, I, I, I wait for Wednesday nights for AEW. I like, I live for that because SmackDown and Raw just don't do it for me. I fast forward the show. I watch, I watch three hours of Raw within fifteen minutes. <laughs> you, you, all, this, this is a hot take. This is a hot take. Uh, this, this one, this whole take. You don't the like the hot take is the reason he watches Dynamite is for Mox. Don't say it again. I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> he said he said the only reason you watch Dynamite is for Moxley. Oh man, don't don't say that, man. If if I could turn, you know what? I, I fast forward Moxley's matches. I'm like, I don't watch this guy. His entrance, <laughs> his matches, I fast forward it all. I'm like, I'm not watching this guy. He doesn't get my time. You the the Street Profits <laughs> and the Usos put on an amazing, amazing, amazing match Saturday night, and you. Still, I watched it. I watched it. Of course, I couldn't fast forward it, but I watched it. You still won't give the Prophets their credit. I give the not. Prophets their credit. I just can't stand their promos. They're corny as hell, man. Like, everybody talks about how uh, Montez got so much uh, charisma. He's in it. But, dude, he's corny, dude. Like, his promos suck. In the ring, I give them all the props in the world. Dawkins has, made, has been better. But their promos are crap, dude. And if you try to say they're not, dude, you just – 
going because of the you're going off of your racially uh bias. That's what it is. No, I'm not because I don't like private party and you do. I like private party, but their promo suck too. But what they do in the ring is awesome too. If I had a match between the profits and private party, I give it to private party. Get your ass out. I'm kicking him out the man. The help. I wanna see I wanna see the profits do a the 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 gin and juice, the the finishing move. They don't need to. Dawkins is a Because they can't. Because they can't. Dawkins is what Guther used to be. He's Fat no. Walter. He doesn't need to be doing <laughs> private <party. laughs> But no, man. Uh, Put some respect on, on Fat Walter, bro. <laughs> I, I like Fat Walter. I'm telling you, I'm cool with Walter. I'm not cool with Guther. Oh, no, not you. Lucha, don't oh. be calling people Fat Walter out there. <laughs> <laughs> Fat That's the next t-shirt. Hey, honest, I'm getting that t-shirt made. Bring back Fat Walter. I'm wearing it to the next record. <laughs> no, look, brother, look, look, look. My brother blowed up. He said somebody Walter can't handle in, the smoke right now. Walter <laughs> is in amazing shape. The dude looks great. I'm not going to not gonna knock that dude. He looks great. He's lost a good amount of weight. All I'm saying is when he was heavier, he looked like he, he'd he kill you all in, in a Vader kind of way. He looked yeah. like he'd kill you back yeah. then. Yeah. But but props to him for losing the weight. But I'm just saying he went from being very intimidating to kind of like Cesaro now. Like he just swollen in great shape, well, which go. is good. Which is still good. He's just not as scary as he once was. Well, there, there's there's your hot take. Losing weight is bad for you. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Let's work our way up, snake style, draft style. So, uh, hot tag, you just did men's division. You got your second one coming at you. All right. Let's see. Let's spin the wheel. Men's, men's division, division part two. <laughs> Storylines. Any storyline that you would like. That's going on right now, or if I can make one. Uh, well, I guess if you, if you had a hot take or one that you wanted to see, why not? Hey, no, uh, we see your comments, man. I'll post them on the screen whenever they come up. So, so are you saying it's a storyline that I would like to see? Well, it it's be a current be, one or one you'd like to see. Yeah, it's supposed to be a hot take. So something that so, you think that other people wouldn't want to see or something you kind of contrary to, like, the overall wrestling population's opinion. The storyline that I would like – dude, I would like to see, and I know I'm a sound bias now, I would like to see – Something with Keith Lee, man. Like, I'm, I don't want to see him in a tag with anybody. I want to see him as a singles wrestler out here killing people. Like, I want to see the Keith. I mean, he's not been bad in the ring or anything, but I would like to see Keith Lee when he was NXT Keith Lee. I want to see Big Bang Catastrophes and Final Flats here, you know? I want to see that dude. I want to see that dude do more. And I guess there's two. I would like to see... Um, I know the Forbidden Door, we talked bad about it, but I would like to see more matches with, like, the like, interpromotional matches. They don't have to be big matches, like, wait for a pay-per-view. I think it would be cool to see things from time to time. Like, the Briscoes right now are Impact, right? Aren't they the Impact champions? Uh, not anymore, but... No, not anymore. Oh, they're not? Damn. Did they already lose that shit? Yep. Wow. Wow. Okay, well... I would still like to see like I would like to see the Briscoes <laughs> finally in AEW against FTR, even though I know they're fighting at the thing. But I would like to see them on the AEW screen. Like I would like to see more interpromotional matches. You know, big names. I don't want to see these small names nobody knows about. I'm like I don't know who <laughs> this guy over here is. They try. Oh, it was Japanese superstar. I'm like I've never heard of this guy before. Why am I invested in this? Like who did uh, Kingston fight last night? I'm sorry, I don't know this guy. Great match though. Yeah, that was a great match. Uh, Kanosuke Takeshita. He's been in yeah, AEW. I don't, I don't know that. I can barely say his name. I don't, I don't know this guy. AEW. I don't know this guy. Stop fast forwarding the matches. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, all I'm saying is bigger names, the names that we know, even if you just do a, you know, a pop up and pop up, I would like to see that more. So that when these matches do happen, they do mean something, you know, like, like Forbidden Door was cool, but like you said, if they would have built that shit up more, we would have been like, oh, this person's here, that person's there. Let's build these up. But I guess there's a lot of injuries, too, so yeah, let's take that into account. A lot of yeah. Yeah. My story right. would be less injuries. Quit getting injured, people. <laughs> <laughs> be more fake. Be more fake. <laughs> be more WWE. Yeah, hey, everybody's getting hurt. <laughs> the hottest takes. 
I say the second one with the forbidden door thing might be a might be a little bit more hot. I don't think anybody would agree or disagree. We want to see Keith Lee. We want more Keith Lee in our lives. Yeah. Okay. So let's go back. Let's run it back with Keith Lee. Like you said, you you would like to see Claudio or Claudio take the boat off of Warlow. What if Keith Lee and Warlow had a thing? Would you? What if Keith Lee wanted to boat off off of Warlow? Down I don't the want to be mad about that. In, in the right circumstances, I don't see a problem with it. Next week. Not not next week. I want to oh, see it next week. Oh, no. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to Keith Lee. That would be wrong. All right. Well, I tried. I gave my um, this, this storyline with him and Swerve is going to be good though when it does kick off. Because they're messing up every. They're winning, but they're messing up. That's a that's a few that they're doing right oh, now. Oh, it's going to be good. They're putting that up. It's gonna no, be that, that's dumb. That that's a dumb storyline too because. Or he eliminated them from the match, and then they stay there with friends. They're building back up their friendship. Like, it would have been different if, if, like, the next match, one of them would have turned on each other. But now they're, like, winning. Let's freak, let's sweep it all under the rug. I don't like that. That's not even long-term booking. It's just we didn't know what we were doing at the time. Let's not break them up yet. Let's keep them together. No, that's nah, they're, 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 it's just garbage. They're having these <laughs> accidents. Where Keith Lee is, yeah, like, but then they're like cool at the end, like all right, fist pump, we're good again. Let's let's challenge for the belts next week, like yeah. But you know, nah, there's man. only gonna be so many times that that something like that can happen before the other one gets mad. Yeah, it's, it's happened too many. It's too many, too much already for me, man. It's too much. Break them up. Let them do their own thing. No, no, you were making good. You were making good comments. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. No, man. No. No, I do not like them together as a tag team. I don't. See, that's a that's a hot take right there for my brother right there. You can't see this uh, hot tag, but Noah says, I personally don't think Keith Lee is ready for a decent solo title run. Yeah, he's a great athlete, but if he were to win the title, his booking would be mediocre at best. But that's why little brothers are little brothers, because they suck, man. They're not mature. <laughs> Their brains haven't developed yet. <laughs> Little brother's brains haven't developed yet to the point where they can make comments like this. Um, <laughs> you trying to tell me he's not good? At, what did he say? He's not good as the singles? What did he say? He's, he's not ready for booking. the singles? He's not ready. The booking would be mediocre. That's the thing, man. It's mediocre now, man, being in the tag team. you have. I hate this. When you have a, somebody like a Keith Lee who's, been, who's dope as a singles person, you have nothing to do with them, so let's put him in a tag team. Why? You have all these tag teams in AEW, but let's just make a makeshift tag team, just like uh, Hobbs and Star. Like, I mean, yeah, Hobbs and Star. Why would you do this? You have tag teams. We're not WWE where we just put singles wrestlers together and make them a tag team. You have legit tag teams. That is Team Taz and Swerve in Our Glory. They have legitimate names. They're legitimate <laughs> tag teams. Yeah, they give them legitimate names now. I mean, Team Taz, okay, they've been for a while. But yeah, first in our Taz. glory, that's like I said, you have nothing for these two individuals who killed it. You see what they can do as singles. But, uh, we don't want them to get lost in the shuffle. Let's make them a tag team. Come on, man. You, oh, man. You, you, you had things for them to do. You have a TNT title out there what they could have went for. You have so much. Like I was, I think when uh, Swerve and Darby had their little thing, I thought that was cool. There was no belts involved. They had a feud. You know, who went back to other promotions. I thought that was awesome. But no, let's just put them together with Keith Lee. Let's make them a well, tag the pro- team. The problem is, is we still need we need tag teams because we just lost a major tag team. What do we lose? Jurassic Express? Oh, man. Uh, no, we lost the, the ass boys and the acclaimed. No more... <laughs> Scissor me, daddy ass! Oh my god, that was the <laughs> when he reached out to him and he didn't connect. It, it was sad and funny at the same time. It was, it was, the, it was the most heartbroken I've been in recent times for wrestling. Oh man! But I'm gonna say those are the two tag teams, though. So why do why do we put Keith Lee and Swerve together when we have those two tag teams right there? Okay. They're gonna the the, the acclaim are about to move up. The who? The acclaim. Oh yeah, that's that's a, that's a done deal already. Yeah, that's coming. That's coming. <laughs> All right. I call that a hot take. I would call hot tags hot take uh, a one for sure. All right. Let's move on that's to the next you. one. It's my turn to spin the wheel, and 
Who do we have? What do we have? Uh oh. It's a freebie. There's stipulation. So any hot take that I have for wrestling. Okay. You like maximum male models. <laughs> we already had that one, and I feel like that's cheating. I love maximum male models. To be you cut it out right now. To be honest. <laughs> To be completely honest with you. In about two uh, weeks, Lucha gonna be on here and be like, you know what? They're great. I love it. No, yep, yep. <laughs> yep. Mark my words. Mark my words now. Okay. Uh my hot take. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say that I don't think I don't know if this is a hot take, so we're gonna find out. In the looking back at it and everything like that. And what uh, Triple H ended up doing for uh, the original Black and Gold NXT, right? I think we're going to look back on it fondly as a good wrestling promotion. But I think overall, I think NXT, the one that he put together, may have actually done more harm than good. I don't think that... I don't think the Black and Gold brand... So the Black and uh, Gold brand was initially supposed to be developmental right it was supposed yep. to be a developmental brand bringing in new talent uh you know growing some homegrown talent and everything like that and getting them ready to be main roster stars uh you know wrestlemania headliners whatever it may be and looking back at it i get it's not all his fault and i get if he had the opportunity to book <clears throat> his people on the main roster we probably have a lot different conversation but knowing who his father-in-law is, knowing all that stuff, and going out, and essentially he turned the developmental brand into an indie fantasy world for WWE fans. And while it was great, put on great matches and everything like that, I think NXT Black and Gold actually may have done more harm than good to a lot of wrestlers' careers. You look at it, we do have success stories. We got... Uh, Roman Reigns, obviously, Seth Rollins. We got, uh, you know, the one time when, when he was going through, uh, Dean Ambrose, now John Moxley. He's out there. He's arguably gotten bigger since going through the whole WWE system. But then you got guys who came in later. You got guys like, unfortunately, you got Keith Lee, right? You got, uh, Malachi Black. You have Miro right now. These guys that are out of the company, but who are kind of like floundering in the AEW. I feel like their reputation was hurt after after leaving NXT, but regardless, they still came into WWE through that system. Looking at it, we all already know the nightmares that happen when you do get called up. Yep. You know. You become they, they, we, we got Gunther. We got Butch. We have, uh, you know. Thank God Raquel got to at least keep her first name. Uh, yep. You know, so we... we give, it, got, give it time. Give it time. Give it, give it time, yeah. Shoot. We have our success stories, but overall, the Black and Gold brand as a developmental and as helping a majority of people, there's way more failures than successes. I think that we look too fondly at it because the matches were so great. But if you look at it as what it was supposed to be, it ended up doing a lot more harm than good. And that's my hot take. My 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 only pick at that is is you, you still have to look at. <clears throat> I, I feel that with any developmental, like this goes back to before NXT. Uh, me being where I'm at, I I had uh, a ton of exposure to OVW, uh, Ohio Valley Wrestling. For those who don't know, uh, and that's where WWE's developmental was before Florida. And they have way, way more misses than they have hits all the time. That's just the nature of the beast. You just have to look at what, like, how big of a hit that did hit. Mm -hmm. So, like, when you look at NXT Black and Gold, you got to look at, got to look at Kevin Owens, got to look at Sami Zayn. Those, both of them came out and they're money. Like, I mean, I, I I I need more Sami Zayn. I'll be honest with you. I'm not getting enough Sami Zayn. Right yes, now. he was uh, uh, disappointed that he wasn't back. on SmackDown this week. Yeah, um, but I mean, like you, you have to look at those two big hits. And surprising to me, I'm surprised <clears throat> Riddle's doing as good as he is now. 
because I didn't have much faith for Riddle getting moved because I felt they I felt they slapped a rocket on the Riddle and like, hey, main roster, buddy. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, but it, it's just you know you, you just have to look at how big were those hits that did hit. I I kind of feel like this could go either way. Um, I feel like they definitely messed up on some that were legit hits in NXT and should have just been amazing once they got to the main roster. And then they did destroy some. Uh, number one on that list is Keith Lee to me. Um, Shayna Baszler. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The Shayna Baszler one kind of irks me quite a bit. You, Ember you, Moon pissed me off quite a bit. Mm. Yep, Ember. Like Shayna was Shayna was arguably the most dominant champion down there ever, and, and then you make her a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> you channel your inner Gangrel. Like, why would you do that, man? Like, she she didn't do none of that down there. She just tapped people out, stomped on elbows, and and crushed dreams. Like, but then you're gonna make her a vampire. And, um, but then you got to look too that they brought you the four horsewomen. They did. They, they botched that whole thing. They yeah, and that's the thing is they how you have no they four... did they but but I mean you still have to look at them individually. Like yes, we had the we we all wanted the four horsewomen to be a big thing but you, you still gotta look at like how great how great was bailey how great uh we don't talk about finn balor around here they've done ruined his damn career uh, <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that that hurts my feelings every time uh you gotta look at bailey you gotta look at becky uh you gotta look at sasha regardless of her being out of the company now she was still great and then you definitely gotta talk about charlotte so yeah you do yeah um, yeah. Finn is is one. I don't know. I don't know, man. I I I, I don't know if he was is necessarily a fail. He was the first uh uh universal Denver. champion. He's been an intercontinental champion. He's been a U.S. champion, no. So no, no, no yes, I don't think he's been a U.S. He's champion. Been, well, then he, I see twice. So I see twice. Universal champion? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you got injured, but I mean, you know, that 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 happens. But let, let's be honest, like even if he didn't get injured, how far was Vince gonna push somebody who's 5'10, 190 pounds? That's what I was gonna say. Is like due to his size, the fact that he even became the inaugural universal champion is a shocker. It was based off it was based solely off of the body paint. Mm-hmm. The, he, 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 lo- he 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 loved the he loved the character. Which they then in turn have destroyed. So yeah, it was a good marketing campaign, and then all of a sudden, I, and you know, Finn even admits it. You know, he can't do that character every week. He can't do it every pay per view, which is what they was, wanted him to do. Yeah, he was like, I can't do that. So as soon as he goes to, you know, because he wanted at SummerSlam, I believe was when the first Universal Title match happened. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what happened next in 2016, and it may have been like Extreme Rules or like. You know, uh, Hell in a Cell or uh, SummerSlam Backlash, whatever. And uh, there's no way he would have done the the demon gimmick. He says it takes too much out of him to be able to do that. So, and he shouldn't. He shouldn't do that. That should be a special thing. But like, not- he, he, he and WWE should realize that they have they have a making for this. You've got how many big pay per views out of the year? Four. Four. Mm-hmm. Those should be the only times he shows up. Yep, it would have been perfect. But again, well, I'd, I'd argue only two of those. Yeah, he's like Mania and probably maybe, SummerSlam. Maybe yeah, Mania, SummerSlam. You should only see him at that point. Yeah, no, I, I I agree. I agree that it's just like I said. Just when I look back at it, Black and Gold gave us some great matches, and I don't think there's any argument that on some occasions takeovers beat out the main roster pay-per-view. Hell yeah. Oh, it, was, it was it was an all the time thing. <laughs> was, yeah, yeah. Pretty so much every time. <clears throat> so I'm I'm totally down with that and I loved it. And I have a huge black and gold support. Hell I'm wearing a NXT black and gold t-shirt right now. Right. Uh just if I could take my step back and look at it from an objective standpoint, Triple H did something great, gave us some entertaining TV for five to six years. 
Um, I just think it might have hurt careers a little bit more because you, you got wrestlers even saying, like, I have to leave to get to show them that I still have it kind of thing, which I think is a sad thing to look at. They they had uh, they had the black and gold brand pretty much like uh, the third rock, the uh, third brand. And I feel like instead of bringing them up, you should have just left them like that. You should have yeah, left them as the third brand, and it would have been fine. That might have been that might have been a way to help it, but but yeah, which I think hot take or not? Nah. That NXT black and gold did more harm than good. I I, I kind of agree. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's not as hot as I thought it was. All right. Next up, El Juice with El Dose. Let's go. Manifest it. Oh, there you go. Kind of took the wind out of my sails already because I dropped yeah. it on a uh, dropped it on hot tag earlier. I was say, uh, he's a he's an issue. Yeah. He's a gas lighter. All right. Let's see here. Well, what was it? I can choose my stipulation. Yep, went right back to it. Another choose your oh. stipulation. Yeah. So freebie. Anything anything that really sticks in your craw. As yeah, well. yeah, I do. Uh, I actually have to bring this up. Uh, this is a... Uh, Maximum This is more of a dig at hot tag since he's not here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> why is it that we feel that just because it's not on WWE or AEW... That these the other wrestlers don't matter. Like it's not it's not their fault that you don't watch their promotion. There you uh, go. Like, all these people start showing up. I know who they are. That's because I sit and watch everything I can watch. I mean, there's five days five days worth of wrestling every week. Why That's aren't right. you, you should be watching everything? Like every time, every time anything happens, I need to know about it. Mm-hmm. Everybody should, you know. I had a moment, I'd say Mania about five years ago. Uh, it was my first WrestleMania, actually. Uh, the one in Florida. And I'm in line waiting to try to get one, trying to get a signature for my belt. And uh, I'm already disappointed because I lost my chance and then it turned into Baron Corbin. Uh, <laughs> 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 sorry, Corbin. I wasn't happy that you came in. Uh, <laughs> Nobody was happy at that time. <laughs> but... Uh, I was talking to a guy about much like what you just talked about. I was talking to him about NXT, and this guy literally had the balls to sit here amongst all these wrestling fans and be like, "If you're not on WWE's main roster, you don't matter. Like you're like you don't matter to anybody. Like you, I don't care who you are. Just because you're not on the main roster, that's we need to stop doing that. Like everybody matters in just about everywhere." Hmm. It's like, if you're putting butts in the seat, if people are talking about you, you matter. Period. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, I, that hot take was brought to you by High Desert Heat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was beautiful. I, I, uh, I want to watch more of the other companies. The problem is I have YouTube TV. And they don't have impact on here unless you pay for the extra bundle or whatever, which I haven't quite done yet. I've seen it for like it's in the the sports bundle, but uh, I just haven't added that shit. Um, but I don't know some of these other. I know some of the names on New Japan, and like if I see them, I'm like, okay, I've heard of that guy before. I've seen mm-hmm. some of these on on YouTube or whatever. But I'm not as familiar with them as I would be, you know, uh, 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 some of the people in AEW or hell. I didn't know much about Kenny Omega before AEW started. Like and now, look at you, Kenny yeah, Omega, the number one stand. No, no, not at all. If you had known, you probably wouldn't have tried to get a picture. You would have known. Nah, Kenny, Kenny stiffed me at the at the uh, at the Mall of America, so. And see that like that that made me even better for like the 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 NXT time frame because like case in point when Finn showed up in NXT I was like get the hell out of here like y'all signed this dude yeah I, yeah I was ecstatic 
Yeah. So like when you know people who walk through the forbidden door and people are like, "Cool, who's that?" I don't. I don't know anybody coming through this forbidden door. That's. I mean, I, it's a problem for me. Like, how can you be like a? I don't want to say a wrestling fan and not know what's going on outside of WWE in this day and age. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, back in the '90s when that was all you had access to was what was coming on on American TV. Yeah. That's understandable. But this day and age, like, there should be a little bit of excitement for when, uh, you know, a Impact star or, um, you know, a uh, NWA power or New Japan star pops up in another promotion that you weren't expecting to see. That's that's the excitement of it. It's like, oh, my God, I was not expecting. Will Ospreay should not have just walked out there on a random AW Dynamite, but... Could you imagine if people had no idea who Will Ospreay was? Yeah. See, I, be... knew, I knew who he was. Right, right. But you you would actually be shocked at how many people didn't know who he was. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I give credit to the AEW fan base because the AEW fan base is at least a lot more cultural wrestling fans that they know a lot more than the average mm-hmm. fan does. But damn. Like, yeah. I know who, I know who some of these cats are. When they pop up, actually, I'm I'm mad at AEW. I'm tired of y'all booking uh, uh, Minoru Suzuki, and he keeps losing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> every time. Um, I do think it is better nowadays, especially with the internet. Um, and you get to see uh, the was it the, some of the GC. I, I see a lot of this on Twitter. That's why some of these people I know who they are because of Twitter. And it'll be like this person just won this GPW title on Twitter. And- yeah, like I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I watch everything like the night it you know it's on. Like it's usually like uh like it's like like New Japan. Like it's a next day thing for me. Or you know, especially like Wrestle Kingdom. You know, <laughs> that that takes me time to sit and watch. Like that's yeah. a long card. It's the three night event this year. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, that's a long three card nights? to sit and watch. I think they're going for three nights this year. Yeah. They need to we we need to stop doing that. We, <laughs> I'll save that for a, a different topic here. <laughs> but, be, that, when you roll choose your stipulation. <laughs> right, right. What I will say is uh like I, I agree with uh with Juice on, on uh pretty much all of that. And yeah, just uh if y'all saw the comment pop up uh talking about they need to uh some of these smaller promotions need bigger media deals or you know if they need to get their presence out there. Uh, that's hard to do. That's really hard to do is get to get, I don't know, just get your name out there. And not everybody can have their own streaming service. We're still waiting on AEW to hit us with that. Please. That's, that's going to be great when they do have it so we can get off this bleacher report. Uh, but until then, like, I know a lot of the companies, like we talked about, have presence on YouTube. Uh, people just got to go out there and find it after you watch us. Yeah. Not right now. Not right now. Not right now. Not right we'll now. be done short, but not right now. <laughs> yeah, heard, support, I mean, like, I mean, heck, support, wasn't like, uh, didn't Tommy Dreamer's like House of Hardcore? Wasn't that like on Twitch? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I think uh, I think Impact was on Twitch for a while as well. Yeah. So there's ways to watch it. We just gotta go out there and find it. Support all wrestling. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a good good one to go by. All right. Lucha, you ready for your final spin? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I thought they were going to hit you with that again. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> AEW men's division. Men's division. Oh, okay. Well, let me say first off, very first thing that I want to say is that. Better be leaving with Christian's theme song. FTR is the best tag team in the entire world. It is. I should have put singles division <laughs> in the entire world. You said men's division. AEW's tag team championship is not on the best team on your roster, and I think that the Bucks are ducking the best tag team in the entire world. Seven Ooh. star FTR, baby. Any oh. chance he gets. That's, any that's chance what, he gets. What was that? I said, any chance you get to plug FTR, you're going to take, huh? 
They're, they're number, as he should. As they're he should. number five I'm on my list. One hundred percent behind him on this. They're number five. Is, is behind Black, the Miz, the Mon, FTR, <laughs> Hearts, Miz, and FTR. <laughs> FTR made the list. <laughs> um, I literally told my buddy yesterday at some point on our episode that we were going to do next. I was like, FTR will get brought up. <laughs> <laughs> Dedicate the whole segment. Seven minutes I, of seven star FTR. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> one of my hot takes about their men's division is that Chris Jericho needs to stop having factions. Um, <laughs> um, I'm over it. This, this it, it, it's almost, it's, it's, it's like they have him have a faction just so we can have a blood and guts match every year or a stadium <laughs> stampede match or something. This Jericho appreciation faction does not need to be a thing at all. And I kind of feel like the uh, Kingston and Jericho feud is dragging out. I'm, I'm only looking into this now to see how Claudio gets involved so that they can extend that feud because he's already mad about costing him the submission. So, you know, eventually down the line, they're going to fight. Be but uh, <clears throat> their men's division right now, it's not its not bad. It's not bad. It's better than what they're doing with the men's division. I mean, with the women's division, I'm sorry. Um, it's, not, it's not a lot to complain about. You would wish that some other people – I like the fact that Brody King – just got a uh I'm glad I didn't say Brody Lee. Remember when I used to destroy names all the time and overseas and we, you would always you, have to you say still me? Do. You still uh, do. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I said used to. Um I'm glad Wait. that uh Brody King got that title shot. I think that was a good look. It's somebody that you wouldn't expect to get a uh an opportunity. Even in, in a in a losing effort, it was good to see him get in there. And oh, I think yeah. I want to see more of that. I want to see more of that coming forward. I didn't really. I don't know if I have a hot take other than get rid of the Jericho Appreciation Society. Get rid of it today, today, end it right now. <laughs> Break them up. That should be a stipulation in in uh, Claudio versus Hager. <laughs> like, oh, Claudio versus Hager. Yeah. <laughs> the, the highest of stakes. The the winners faction is over, <laughs> or the losers <laughs> faction is over. <laughs> like that's the end of that faction. Oh that's no! Add that stipulation to that match. My God, you are just going in on everybody <laughs> in AEW today. I'm tired of Jericho having factions. He doesn't need a faction. You know the bad part is it's great. Now next month he's gonna have a different faction, <laughs> and I want to blame you for this. <laughs> Oh, no, no. And he's not losing the current one either. He's just going to have two factions. Yes. <laughs> he's going to, well, him being a wizard. Like, get, come on, man. I get I get reinventing yourself every, you know, every few years. And he's great at that. Jericho may be the absolute best at reinventing yourself that there is. And, mm -hmm. and making you like his reinvention every time. He's He's got to be one of the best at that. However, you don't need a faction every time you reinvent yourself in this company. I'm sick of it. That's that's my hot take. Get rid of Jericho factions. In that. That, needs to, that needs to not be a thing anymore. I hated everything you said. Everything <laughs> from the you start. You Jericho to have a faction again? Absolutely. These are the best. Are you kidding me? Did you see them come out Backstreet Boys up at Blood and Guts? That was phenomenal. You got Hager, who was one of the toughest men in the world. You are in the fighter in, the, in a Backstreet Boys attire. Yep, I had oh, and I had man. Danny Garcia in that red do rag. He had no business doing that. No <laughs> yeah. business doing it, and He's I was laughing weird. my ass off the whole time. That's that's just as ludicrous as me wearing a lucha mask. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't happen. <laughs> Shouldn't happen. Oh no, every. Oh man, I love Jericho and his factions. I can't F seven star FTR. I, I I'm having a hard time fighting it. They are they are way too good, but I still have my flag planted firmly in the Young Bucks camp. You know, 
You know what? what was it? What? <laughs> FTR was in a faction, and they just like they just got rid of it. <laughs> like there wasn't even a clear explanation as to why, and just went separate ways. Like why they weren't in it anymore. Well, didn't like it was like over Wardlow, wasn't it? Yeah, but it wasn't like MJF kept trying to get them to go after Wardlow, and they're like, We're not doing that. Yeah, did that happen? I'm yeah. A, I'm, I'm, I'm I think so. Good. Yeah, we had to fight. Yeah, I had to go through. Yeah, where's Sean Spears? You know, I don't care. I don't care. You don't have to answer that. He got powerbombed like 17 times, and they got rid of him. Yeah, say, Yeah, you don't got to answer. I'm not missing Sean Spears as much. He's as on the ring. That he's, gonna show, he's, gonna show, he's gonna show up in about a month, and he's just gonna be like, This <laughs> is. Poor guy. I think he's like 40, isn't he? He is. Wow. That's good for his age. 40 years old. And so does his wife. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's, uh, that's my heel turn of the week. <laughs> that's it. There you go. That's his hot take on the men's division. <laughs> <laughs> no more Jericho factions. Beyond that, I think the AEW's men's division, just give, give the people that are like on the cusp opportunities. Give them, get 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 some more people up there against Moxley. Let's get Swerve in there in the match. I'd like to see that. I thought your hot take was gonna be uh Judas is not that great of a theme song. Judas is done for me. It does nothing to me. And when whenever I you're at a live event, you'll be singing every bit of it. I was at a live event. He doesn't know the lyrics. Oh, well, that's on him. Yeah, you can't say it is done for me. You never learned them. I've never learned. I have never cared. I knew the lyrics to that song before it was his entrance. <laughs> <laughs> I, have ne- I will say that much. He got his own song over, and it is, it is one of the bigger songs in, in uh, professional wrestling. But I'm sick of Judas. <laughs> he's a he's a heel. We're not supposed to be singing his music right now. Well, that's what, that's like my favorite part of the whole thing is the audience is like 100 percent behind singing the entrance music, and then the moment that music's off, they're like, "Screw this guy!" Woo. Yeah, I like when when the, even though I don't like that this is a faction, I like that when he initially <laughs> came out with this faction, they cut it off. But then it, I guess it pissed the fans off so much that they had to bring it back and let them sing. Screw us. Piss us off. We're supposed to hate you. Cut your music off. Soon it's as working. Come it's working. Look at you. Look at the vitriol, the anger, yeah, so you're the like, rage. You're sitting, you're sitting here like going back on what you just said. You love this faction thing. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, hate I, hate every, I hate the name of it. I hate them coming out and in the tire. I hate it all. Oh. Uh. I think that's a beautiful, beautiful spot to end right there. One thing, hold on before we go, because I'm mad. One thing, <laughs> <laughs> one thing that I do give Jericho credit for with his fact sheets is the fact that it puts eyes on this younger talent. I'll give him that. But beyond that, and damn it, Noah, I didn't just make the list. <laughs> 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 but it does it does give the, the 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 younger talent some eyes on them, so I I do give them credit for that. But beyond that, you don't need a faction all the time. God damn it! I disagree, but that's what a hot take is about. Disagreement is that the is that the hot the hottest of hot takes to end with? I think so. I don't know if we're gonna get any <laughs> hotter than that. <laughs> Not today, anyway. Jericho, if you're watching, which I'm sure you are, because, you know, everybody loves working the knee. Everybody loves the lucha, big lucha, lucha juice. <laughs> Scissor me, daddy ass. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 oh, man. All right. That's going to do it for this episode. Appreciate you, Powerhouse, for coming up with the wheel. That's a good... Good time. Good time with the, the wheel there. Oh, yeah. We the had heat fun wheel. So, thank you all for watching in. <laughs> thank you, Noah, for, for providing comments, man. We appreciate you. And you Big are a great little brother, man. I don't care what Powerhouse says. Big wrestling, just a great wrestling mind. That's all, that's all I can say. And don't let him steal the, the, the credit 
for all your your takes here, man. But anyway, that's going to do it. Appreciate you guys watching, and we will holler at you all in the next one. Top guys out. Yeah. <laughs>